running pals. It's like three degrees out. Not really, it's like 30 something. But because it was literally shorts well, the last week, we are upgrading to long sleeves. Making coffee. We finally switched out the beans so they're not as horrible. Um, you can see my mad coffee skills. They, they don't exist. Um, I was not feeling well, so she's going to the doctor. If I had to guess, if I had to take a good old guessy poo, I would say double ear infection. That's my guess. If I had to take a pick, that would be the setup. Um, that's what my guess is going to be. So we'll see later on if that is the case. So make the coffee, you got the hot coffee. And then this is my morning workout. It's the first glue of caramel, which again, I don't know if this needs to be actually cold. Okay. Might as well put it in as a strength workout. All right, let's go ahead and yippity doo dot eat this. I have to go to Target today along with the hab. Nick doesn't want to come with me, so I'm going to be going by myself. I look like literal poo poo. This week is going to be fun, though, because I have Girls' Day on Wednesday, and then, what's Friday something? I don't remember what Friday is, but, and Girls' Day is going to be a good one, and we're vlogging it on the BG Girly channel, so I won't be vlogging it on here at all, really, besides the morning. I was like, what's that noise? But it's just the uh, dishwasher. I thought I had something on Friday. Maybe? Canlanda. Friday. I don't know how you like go to different days on your calendar. Oh, Friday. Maybe something I've been at school by. I thought I had something in the PM. Maybe I don't. Anyways. And then we have game night. We have era store. We have all the things. So I did that. And then I'm going to go ahead and put my ice in. Which I don't need ice cream my water. Last night, Nick and I watched The Tenth Kingdom. Basically, I was like, I don't even remember really what I was doing, but I was like, maybe I was reading my book and it was kind of giving me Tenth Kingdom vibes. And then I was like, oh my god, what's that show called? It took me forever to figure it out. So I was looking up Fairy Tale TV show and I feel like. Once Upon a Time is the only thing that comes up. And then like Grimm. But I was like, no, it's definitely not either of those. So I finally found it and then I had Nick download it for me. So it's like very old. It's like 23 years old because it was in 2000. Oh my God, what a banger. Pretty funny. Nick kind of has never seen it. But I like kind of like, when we started watching it, I started to remember everything. So I have my coffee. I'm going to go do something with my hair because it's already driving me bonkers. We play the Terraforming Mars dice game. This weekend's game night was one for the ages. Just saying. It was a banger and a half. Um, I need to change my way action here. It was just so good. Such a good time. <gasps> Forgot that this week's new releases is also a banger. And I need to like check and see what everyone's saying about that. But I... I don't want to go to Target. I want to like work first, then go, or what, but this needs to get fixed. Um, but yeah, this we played Terraform Mars Dice game last night, which we ended up haven't played a game like just us in a while, so I'm gonna like take this. There's like a bunch of fuzzies on it, so I have to like take it off, take the fuzzies off, but it just seems like a lot of work. I think I might do my like space buns today because those were pretty cute when I did them the other day but or maybe I'm gonna leave it down and do space buns tomorrow it's looking cute but the night was so fun we did like a themed game night and uh, last minute I added in a print and play that I saw advertised on Instagram so I ordered it it was five bucks. I feel like it was definitely worth five dollars. 
And um, so we played that, and then we played taco, cat, cheat, goat, cheese pizza, whatever it's called. The Halloween version, which actually ended up being pretty fun for a party game. Like, I wouldn't be mad to play it again. It was pretty funny because the boys were so bad at it. Well, specifically Nick and Chris. And then we played um, the print and play, which was pretty fun. Like, I'd play that again, too. Probably take it more for, like, travel. Um, I also got another print and play from 25th Century Games called, like, Roll on the Range that I want to print and play. But that one kind of gives me more, like, spring vibes. And then, um, we also played Queens by Mid Queen by Midnight, which was such a banger. Everyone said 5 out of 5. There's definitely some, like, rule things we need to, like, figure out. And that's, like, when the biggest discrepancy with the game is, like, the rules are kind of all over the place, but it was so fun. I definitely want to play it again soon. I kind of want to play it, me, Nick, and Hannah, like on a girls' night. I'm sure Nick would. But it was really, really fun. There's a lot of really cool mechanics in it, and then like the like game itself is like really nice. So played that, and then we played Betrayal at Boulder's Gate, which was super fun because we love Betrayal and we love like D and D stuff. So the mixture of the two was very cute so this is gonna be the hair setup for the day i feel a very like i should be on full house i am dj tanner and then i'm just gonna do a little tiny bit of makeup because i'm just like not feeling myself today also i need to wash my crocs i like took all of my christmas croc things off and then i also bought these so my other christmas ones are just like basic christmas and then i bought these last year they're like pixar Christmas, um, I think it's weird that two of them for Toy Story, but I bought those last year, so I need to put those on. So, as far as makeup goes, I'm going to just kind of go minimal with my selections because it's just to, like, make myself feel better, basically, today. So, we're doing under the eyeballs on this constellation here. Let me see this constellation here just healing itself in a little i think that's actually it i'm like good with that um filter and wires what was i saying i don't know oh queen boy midnight hannah ended up winning and because i pledged allegiance to her and then like i lost i ended up winning too technically <coughs> but it was so funny because me and hannah like obviously we're gonna <coughs> pledge allegiance to each other but the boys were like, well, Nick was, like, leading this campaign that the boys should all do each other. And then, um, it's funny because when Chris lost, he flipped over his card and he pledged allegiance to me. And then whenever Tony, like, at the end, Tony had pledged allegiance to Hannah. Because you want to basically pledge allegiance to whoever you think's going to win. And then Nick was the only one. I think he pledged allegiance to Chris, which is funny because Chris was the first person out, so. There's that. But it was so fun. And then yeah, Boulder's Gate was also very fun because it's just bet betrayal basically in D&D &D world. So, I mean, what's on to love? It was very cute. I kind of liked it better than regular betrayal, but that just might be me. One, because I think that I like, like fantasy more than I like spooky because the regular betrayal is very spooky. And then, obviously, this is, like, getting down to the bottom of the barrel here. Like, I was like, I'm going to do the minimum. I guess this is, like, this is in the middle. Like, it's, this is, well, I think it's more towards the minimum of things. I need to edit the vlog for this week, which I imported just the non-phone clips, and it's three hours, which is better than four on the way you look at her. This is NARS Orgasm. Just to reapply some color on her face from the concealer. I don't really know. But yeah, had a freaking blast. And um, this weekend was a little hard though, not gonna lie, because Bennett has been on one. Like, it's been tough. I'm not gonna lie with Bennett. Like, I feel like for a while it's kind of tough with Theo. Like, not like actually tough just like a little tough I'm gonna try this I found these I was cleaning out my like 
above cabinet thing here this weekend during quiet time and I found these and I was like I don't know if I'm gonna keep them because I had them for like travel but I need to like see if they're even like what I want so I'm just gonna try one of them out yeah I like the they give me kind of like Natasha Denona vibes as far as texture goes it's the Kaj little stacks I have two of them but they're really good for travel, so I might keep them depending on performance. I don't know. So that's the makeup look. It's just like a little bit better than before. And I'm also going to do, I feel like in the, like, I feel like I have like, I don't know. I feel like in the winter I get like happier. Isn't that weird? More of my favorite perfumes. Like I'm like, I'm changing on my wax. I'm putting my makeup on. I'm wearing actual outfits. I'm... Putting on perfume. I've been putting on perfume for the past couple like weeks. Anyways, Juliet has a gun, not a perfume. I I know this, this perfume's like known Sephora and stuff, but I got this perfume. Like she's like barren. But I got this perfume like from Birch Box like a hundred years ago. Still smells so good. It's still such a banger. I've always been a believer. I'm gonna go drink my coffee. I'm probably gonna do my like morning routine-ish type thing so I'm gonna do payroll the washer's going because I need to do wash also I have this thing so I use makeup erasers I need to change out my wax in here I use makeup erasers and I feel like they smell and I'm assuming it's because like they smell kind of like musty dusty moldu not moldu what's moldu mildew moldu kind of mildewy basically I think it's because like you wet them and then you wipe your face with them and they like whatever material they are I think they like hold the wetness and then you like throw them into the washer. But I feel like till they actually get washed, they get a mildew scent. So there's that. Also, I filled out my wax, wax, wax basket yesterday of the rest of my fall scents. Um, so all I had left over from my last basket is this, which just realize I really, I'm just not vibing with the scoopables. Today I'm putting in vanilla pumpkin sugar cookie in my office. I don't remember if this one had like a really good throw or not, but we're gonna find on out. Um, yeah, I can take this one. I'll do the rest of the world probably after I finish my cafe before I go to Target and HEB. Basically at Target we need booty wipes, which are like wet butt wipes, and then uh, we need, there's like two other things. I need, um, I'm going to pick up the kids. I think like soaps and things are cheaper at Target. So I need to get um, the kit, like the Theo and Lila soap. They still use like the Johnson and Johnson tier, like the one that's like, doesn't do anything to your eyeballs when you run it in the water. And then I'm going to get Theo a pair of boots. Because it's boot weather outside. So I'm going to get him a pair of boots. If I could, if I could find a cute pair. I also need to film at some point, like, but we'll see when that's going to happen. So wax in here is changed. Something else I need to get at Target. Oh, my queso. I have been obsessed with this one queso. They don't have it at the head. Also, I placed a plate of Hannah order yesterday. Those are all my notes for all the things that I ordered. And I was going through and basically, um... Looking at my January kits and trying to figure out what exactly I want to use when. So I can actually show you that real quick because something interesting. So basically, I like this is like preliminary, and then I'll like add in other things. So first things first is this I'll probably use in my non-filming planner. It's frosty. Um, and I was thinking matte bronze with it. At first I was thinking silver, but I feel like I'm already using silver, and I think one other kit so I was like oh matte bronze and then I have this mistletoe um foil bundle from crest press in matte bronze and then I ordered I think it's plaid it's a plaid one of the plaids underlays a matte bronze from Hannah for that one then for this one which is winter kisses I'll probably use this one in my main planner I am probably going to be using the uh, like champagne lights whatever I don't know what she calls it like sparkly gold um, crest press bundle um, for snow. She just has regular bougie in here, so I went ahead and ordered. Um, I think it's called Frosty in Pixie Gold from Hannah for this one. 
Then for this one is Mary, and I don't know if I'm using this one in my regular planner or my filming planner, but this one I am going to be using um, uh, Champagne Lights, but I'm going to be doing solid with this one because it's going to be super, super sparkly. So again, I don't know when I'm going to use this one, but I'm going to be using it. And then I'll probably, I'll be like, whenever I get all these items, I'll pull other things. So obviously like, I need a foil bundle for this, but I was thinking I could literally just use like any champagne lights. I could use like stars. I could use shimmer. I could use confetti. It doesn't really matter for that one. For relax, I'll probably use this in my non-filming planner. And this one I am going to be using the lights foil bundle. I don't remember what I ordered it in. I think I might have ordered it in pixie gold. Um, or regular gold or light gold. I don't know. And then for this kit here, I am using the this like star, so lavender hollow and sparkly hollow foil bundle. There is gold throughout, but I'm just feeling these colors. And for this one, I don't think I ordered anything for it because I'm just kind of vibing with just this currently. This is like getting my bases done basically. And then I'll like go in and see if I need any like custom quote boxes or anything. And then this kit here, that'll be in my, I don't know actually, what planner that'll be in and then winter warmth will be in my filming planner and I ordered the frosty underlays I believe which are um the snowflakes um I think also stars would be really cute with this and gold hollow and regular hollow and then for arctic I just had I had these two random sheets I think I had like a silver foil bundle for snow and use like different underlays but I'm just this is going to be in my non-filming planner um, Arctic and I'm probably just gonna add in some like confetti because I want to keep like the foil on the box is very minimal because it's kind of like I think with like these animal kits it's nice to have it kind of more chillax and then the other kit that I want to use in January possibly is the August mystery and I haven't figured out what foil I want to use with it because it comes with a sparkly hollow um star but i'm thinking about using a mixed metal looks key pie on oh, that one let me take a little sip of my drink i think lavender hollow and gold hollow would also look really pretty with this i need to order more lavender hollow gold hollow foil but no one doesn't lie mm. but the lavender hollow sparkly hollow mmm the hollow sparkly hollow be really pretty with it where are all my gold oh even the gold and sparkly gold be really pretty i think i'm gonna go with though i'm gonna go with the I'm using it twice but honestly that just means it's extra nice i'm gonna save this foil bundle i'll just put it in a cello she'll just take this one out of the cello uh, no i'm not going to i'm gonna use the lavender hollow so i'm gonna use it with this kit here which is the um august mystery and then i'm also using it with this kit so i'll probably do these in separate planners so maybe this one in my main planner this one in my non-filming planner i think i want to use this for the week like of new year's morning so maybe I'll use these like the same weight just because they like have the same foil bundle. I think that'd be kind of cute to do. And the, they both look really good with this. I kind of wish, like there is some gold in here, but I guess like the colors lean more in cool tones. So I think that kind of works with the sparkly, but I love this foil bundle. I honestly need to check and make sure I have more of them at home. But I think I order a lot of those. Whenever I do mixed metal, I try to order double what I do of the solids. So kind of have January started at least. And I was kind of like, not stressed about it, but I was starting to be like, okay, I might need to start like thinking about what I want to do in January. So that's what I have that. And then I don't know if I showed you last week, but I made like little, well, I had Kirsty make me these dividers, which is just a file we use for work. And then I just added little, like I took the lavender hollow months and just cut them down to like a three letter month word. And then I put all of my, oopsies. Another rogue sticker sheet. Okay. So I can kind of like pre-plan like when I want to use them. And then everything else, oops, where did February go? Everything else just goes in the back of all of these. But I think it looks pretty cute, pretty cute. And leaves, it's more organized than having just a pile of um, kids laying around. I also did a base. Did I, 
a base or two bases? I might have did two. This weekend, um, I'll show you those. A little sneaky peeky. I did this one. Super pretty shattered hollow with the Hoville. It's like, it's like nuts. Hold on, let me show you. Look at that. Shattered hollow. It's the week before, no foil. And then the week after is the week of Amanda's wedding. So I asked Amanda for her monogram and then her little like logo-y thing. And then I think this is perfect, perfect, perfect. But that's what I did kind of on my downtime to relax this weekend was just do a couple little bases. I also got a notification that my odd look order shipped, which I'm excited about. I feel like I ordered it literally forever ago, so I'm very excited that it's finally on its way to me because I have a lot of, like, full. I bought order full boxes and the washi page, and then I just make myself some functionals because I love their art, but I don't love their functionals for me. So it's just, I could just grab multicolor sheets and then figure it out, but I'm just, it's almost easier for me just to, like, find some colors and just make some. I made a bunch of sheets for myself for those. Um, let's go here and I'll organize it later. Yeah, so basically gonna finish my coffee. I'm gonna print my plans for this week. I'm gonna start doing all of my basic morning tasks. I also need to do a picture because I forgot when I was like put it doing all the things of this next month's um, freebies. So this is the standard order for me. So it's going to have um, four um, foil freebies. It's four random foil sheets. This one, for example, has a rose Christmas quotes, silver, um, different Christmas quotes, some gold snow overlays, and then one of the bougie sheets. We're almost out of those, which is exciting. I feel like I ordered a zillion of them. Journaling cards from e.l.f. So cute. I've been loving doing this. It's just something fun to do, like, to kind of curate and have going. And then, so that's that. And then that's all orders. Orders for $75 plus. I did something a little different. I did a scribbler sheet. Next month is not a scribbler sheet. This is my first scribbler sheet. But it's the, like, sampler, but it's, like, a different hair color. And then the three skin tones, which I thought was cute. Can't wait to see what everyone thinks of it. Just as some, it's, like, a freebie, so. Something experimental. And then the $150 freebie is still a random foil bundle. This one, for example, is Lavender Hollow um, Mickey Snowflakes, or Magical Snowflakes. And then the $300 freebie is going to be a random ultimate kit. So these ones stay the same. And then um, with the ultimate kits, at least, I try and pick something that I feel like is kind of seasonally appropriate and goes with, like, the Christmas. Like, this is Christmassy vibes, so. Holiday vibes. So I need to take pictures of that. Um, yeah. Okay, my friends, it is 8.38. And I'm stretchy, stretchy. Okay, so I ended up getting payroll done, weekly stickers done. I emailed two different artists because I need things done and then um, I went ahead and put a couple files like away. Uh, Kenneth just got me some papers. I put those in the folder and then I also, and we're going to work on a reformat um, as a release. I don't know if it's going to come out next week or what. It's just, it's one of those, it depends on what's releasing. Um, it's City Chill from Kenneth Chess. I went through all of Kenneth Chess's like old art and like any of the ones that like aren't in the shop because they were like discontinued because they were like an old format and just kind of like made a list. And then I went through all of, I have this folder. It's actually kind of big of like art that I bought and not used. It has to be like, around our going yesterday, Wilson. Bennett says Bustin' now, but he says Bustin'. Like, and even Theo says it sometimes. Bennett's usually about like mac and cheese. But, um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, the folder is like quite big of like art that I've bought and never used. And then I also have like a folder of like kits, like both sides kit and chest kits that need, that could use a reformat. And then I also have some custom art that I just haven't used. 
Um, so I was just going through and seeing like what has basically Valentine's vibes is which next. Anything like winter Valentine's I need to start working on. I do have one pop. Yeah, I'm change the box. One pop mystery that I had done a while ago. And that is giving kind of not Valentine's, but like, well, I guess Valentine's February. Lunar New Year, if you wanted to, vibes. I'm going to put in this because it's, like, huge. And then we can... Uh, for out to show, I actually had... I found a couple of extra things in my basket. This thing does not want to focus. I found this. This. He's back. Just regular goal friends. And it's fall. Charlie Brown, which is a real good one. Actually, I'll use... Just go for and just, I'm just getting we're going. I'm just getting around. I'm just getting around. But um, yeah, I have one pop mystery, and the pop mysteries have been really good. I have, oh my god, I forgot my thing. I have only done one more. Like everything that I've done, pop mystery has already been done, besides one, which was the Hunger Games one. And I was like, well, pop mysteries are doing well, so might as well just get another one. Um, but everything else I've had like previously. But I just messaged the uh, one of my artists, Coco, because I have another pop mystery idea. It's an idea that I like have been wanting to do for literally three years. But there was an artist who said that they wanted to do it, like for their shop, and I was like trying to respect their wishes. But it's been three years, so I'm gonna do it in my shop as a pop mystery because I am just done waiting. And it's something that I wanted as a kit because it is literally one of my probably top five favorite movies of all time. And it'd be perfect for Valentine's because I was talking to Kenneth Shaw and I'm like, I feel like um, Valentine's is just so hard because I find Valentine's Day like art for the most part. Like I feel like, well, I feel like I like all the art that comes out, but I don't, I'm not like inspired to do like anything custom because I'm like what like what is there to, what else there is there to do besides just play on the same thing over and over again so I don't know I don't have any ideas for valentine's um I just am uninspired basically and I feel like like maybe it's everybody's but like my valentine's day doesn't look like the kids do so probably gonna like play board games and like go out to eat you go out to eat less because it's Valentine's and more because it's like our anniversary. So, and this year will be of, we just like count because we've been dating since we were 14. Well, I was 14, Nick was 15. Um, I don't know how many years of marriage it is. I think it's one more than Bennett is old. So like seven years of marriage, which I guess is cool because it's like lucky number seven. Also every day I just get like more and more mad that there's not a Christmas tree here. I didn't do a Christmas tree here any other year, but I'm definitely doing one this year. I'm just gonna have to move everything, but I'll be putting this wax warmer on the dresser that you're on right now. And I'm gonna put this tree over by Nick's side of the bed and then probably the chair over there as well. Or honestly, the chair is just gonna have to, it might just go next to the Christmas tree, honestly. Like Christmas tree is gonna go here and then maybe put the chair like this way over yonder and i think that that will be very cute just want to like while i'm reading and stuff just have like a christmas tree to look at and i'm also probably not putting a christmas tree in my office this year but i put one on my wish list for if anyone wants to get it for me for christmas i think amazon wish lists are literally god's gift to the world oh no i lost a thing Hold on. Um, I feel like that's like, everyone's like, I don't know what to get you. So I have an Amazon wish list of like literally the world's most random stuff. Like I have a couple books, a couple games, like nothing crazy. Um, and then I have like corn, like this mold of corn. Cause I want to make, I want to try making like, oh my water, I forgot about her. I want to try and make, um, the Donald Duck corn. I don't know if, no one even talked about those. It's just wild to me. Corn, cake things. Um, just like really random things are on there. 
but I put the Christmas tree on there. It's just like a, it's like a skinny four foot one, or like four and a half pre-lit that I put in my office. But one, I don't really think I have room this year. Like I need to get through all of my games first, which I should probably just use up the rest of this wax and put it in all the warmers. Well, I'm not gonna go this way. I'm gonna go the other way. Try flip the laundry before I go too, because I'll be like a really nice wife and do that. All right, let's do one more in this warmer. Anyways, yeah, I don't think I have room in my office this year, but for next year, it'll be a good one to have. I'm gonna do one more in there, and then I'm gonna put the rest out in the living room. But yeah, I think they're good, and especially for like the kids too. And like, I really appreciate whenever everybody else gives me Christmas wish lists. So many people that don't, and I'm just like, I don't know what your kids have. I don't know what they want. I don't know what they're into. So please just give me a wish list or I'm gonna just start getting everybody gift cards. It doesn't give me a wish list because I just don't. I'm not, like, I feel like with adults, like, I'm pretty good. Like, I feel like I, like, am a good gift giver. And, like, for kids, for the most part, like, there's not that many kids that I have to buy for that I don't have a wish list for. But, like, I just don't wanna buy, like, what well, if they already have it? I guess they can re-gift it, but, like, or what if they don't, they're like not into it. Mm -hmm. Um, Marg's, Marg's Theo just turned one. And I sent him, um, stop the wax alarm. I have to pee before I, leave. oh, flipping the wash, okay. Um, Marg's Theo just turned one and I got him like Playmobil just came out with, I don't know if it was just or like, Recently just came out with like Disney. Oh dearie dear dear. Disney like for little kids Playmobil, like the one, two, three. So I got that. Um, but I just like I'm really bad at it. You know what I'm saying? Like real bad at it. So just really love Amazon wish lists. Even for adults. Like just tell me what you want and I'll just buy something. But I like having like a wish list, at least you can pick something off of it. These are the, see it doesn't smell bad right now. Let me, I'm gonna do like a little, we're gonna put it in the dryer and see if it smells bad after. It did not smell bad then, let me smell this one. It smells like laundry detergent, but I don't know what happens between X and Y. Maybe it's like, if this doesn't get flipped immediately, it starts to smell weird. I don't know. I got Lila, cause she's been wearing a lot of boots. I might throw a couple of these into Theo's room too because I think I'm gonna buy him boots today. Cause like I feel like Texas winter is just wet. It's not really, I mean it's cold, but it's not like snow boot weather. It's more like boot boot weather, weather you know? So if Nick was here, he would definitely D.I.E. with how I'm doing the wash. I think I'm gonna dry this sweater. I think that at some point it was dried and that's why it's a little stiff. Just gonna put it on a hanger. It's my like ugly Christmas sweater I got it at the good old Goodwill. But it's like just not, it's just generally not soft. I don't know if there's a way to like, that was like fabric softener maybe, but like, I don't think there was a dryer sheet in here. There's like crap everywhere in here. We use Bounce, the white box. Nick bought like four packs of these like when we moved in and we're still using them because they want some kind of deal so perfect i'm just gonna go hang this up oh wait are you, you ready to go i'm gonna hang this up and then i'm gonna leave it's ugly weather it's also rainy and it's also cold
Yeah, I have like the opposite of like normal seasonal depression and the like, winter just makes me so happy. Ugh! I just saw the cutest little family. Um, They were was, like a mom and then, I mean, I'm assuming it was the mom. She was like carrying two kids, like it looked like twins, like Lila's age. And then there was like a little boy and he was probably like, Theo's age. And there she has the twins like this and the little boy's running next to her. And he's like, it's so cold, like looking at me. And I'm like, it's freezing. And everyone's like giggling and laughing. And it's just like a good time out in the freezing cold. I know Hannah probably today is like, I hate my life and it's so horrible. Which I get, but I just love the cold weather. I like, I think it's like, I like being comfy cozy. And there's nothing more comfy cozy than it being 45 degrees out and cuddling and soup weather so we're going to on wednesday i knew it was going to be cold this week one i'm making soup for game night i'm making a, like a basically a loaded baked potato soup and then yeah good job and then for um this week for girls day me hannah nick and chris are all going down to get soup dumplings downtown so pretty excited about that been wanting to take Hannah but I feel like it like whenever you have soup dumplings you need it to be chilly but also like I eat them all the time so it's just nicer when it's cold and we're gonna go book shopping and the boys are gonna go book shopping and also they'll probably walk over to the record store I'm assuming because I don't know how much fun they'll have this is like the worst intersection I'm just saying it's like impossible to get I'm gonna just go and like kind of hope for the best Thanks, everybody. Um, yeah, it's just so much better when it's chilly. But just finished at Target. I'm on my way to the Hebs. Um, and I was a little unhinged, but not too unhinged. I feel like for like most of the Christmas stuff being out, I was like a good girl. But also went a little off the list. But I'll show you what I got. And I feel like it's all like understandable. Especially my two quesos because they're good till like 2024 and I'll definitely eat two quesos till then. And those quesos are just by far my faves. I've tried I think like six different like smaller brand like not Tostitos quesos. You actually do need to get Tostitos like their brand or whatever brand like cheese. Because I'm going to make, I'm going to try and make those like you take biscuits and you do the like baking, is it baking soda or baking powder? I'll Google before I do it like you dip them in there like cut them up dip them in there and then you put them in the oven and basically they're pretzel bites i'm gonna try making those this week because i think it's also like a chilly weather fantastic thing i think i'm gonna do it for maybe girls night for like a later snacky thing um maybe or i'll just make them some other time for the fam fam but it's gonna be nice if they're good because that's like very easy and i could just make them whenever then because like pretzel dough and like the whole cacao and caboodle is kind of like a long process. But if I could cut out the dough part, that's that's like pretty easy. So I am almost at the Hebs and then I will update you then. I picked up a key. <laughs> what? I think it's the other way around. The pie for me. For a donut. Oh my god, of course you are. I went to Target already. I'm the, the hub. That is literally what romance is all about. I told him there's this one time, like maybe like, I don't know, like a month ago, two months ago, he like went and got me Dutch Bros and like set up like the Pokemon trading card game for us to play when I woke up and he let me sleep in and I was like one of the most romantic things he ever did and this like he just like looked on the like by my friends thing to see that I was here and came because he had taken Lila to the doctor which newsflash she does not have any ear infection which my kids are just so prone that I just am like I'd rather pay the 50 bucks or whatever to like take them than them get worse ear infections because like Theo has tubes Bennett had them bad for a while but then he like with COVID he wasn't like at school as often so I feel like he kind of like grew out of it and then um anyways but he was taking Lila he went down to work got packages and I'm assuming samples and stuff like different things 
and then he went to drop Lila off and then he came right here and I just think that's so romantic like I was like I love you very much these are the things like that's the thing with me is I'm like a simple gal I'm a simple gal like I'm not I don't require much tbh I'm just like it's the little things that really get me like this is gonna go down as like one of the rom most romantic things he did this year is because I love grocery shopping with him like I don't know I just like like his company and he used to not grocery shop with me but kind of made it a point to so just love that man you know what I'm saying you know what I'm saying 17 years and he still knows how to romance me but I'm on my way home I'm gonna be putting away all the groceries and I'll show you everything that we got of course it was kind of a bigger grocery shopping trip because I feel like there was a lot of like random things that we needed that like were like filling up like syrup and stuff like things that we don't normally need and then I have also the Target things which is only like three bags I think and I got a couple of Christmas things in there so we'll be showing you a haul or I will be and then I don't know like I did get soup for lunch which catch me like my summer thing like if I'm like really hungry like I'm not like like when I went to Popeye's the other day I like for the most part I was like oh, I should just go to H-E-B and get sushi I should just go to H-E-B and get sushi I should just go to H-E-B and get sushi because it's like six bucks for the value size pack and it's like relatively healthy right like veggie sushi like you know what I'm saying so I think that my like winter thing is going to be going it's like six bucks too and getting a big thing of soup they have this chicken dumpling soup and it's actually pretty like slapping and I'm gonna try the chicken tortilla soup there too but yeah I think that's my winter thing is if I want like a lunch and I want to like leave the house like to get it I'm gonna get soup at H-E-B like hot soup and bring it home but I have chicken dumpling soup for lunch and I'm probably gonna eat some soon it's only 10 30 but I like I'm hungry already because I've been up since 6.45, so basically 10.30. We're getting to lunch time here. I haven't eaten anything. I just had my coffee, so. Welcome to this week's haul. It is massive. And oh, I'm exhausted. What I got at the Targets. I got this for Theo's stocking. Bib. Oh my gosh. This for Miss Lila Joy stocking. They're so cute. I got these for the new baby in our lives. For, for the baby that was just born. Uh, and then I'm gonna do like a book. That'll be their present. And then I'm gonna get the other child a, um, what are they called? American Girl doll. Um, two quesos. I got this for the bathtub because I think it's bath season and it was um, new. It was only I think like $5. It's warm vanilla Epsom salt. And then my one unhinged purchase of Christmas right now is this. It's a cookie plate. Is that the cutest cookie plate I've ever seen? Yeah. They have the only other one that I'm like dying for from Target. I like that it looks like there's like either snow or like flour on it. The only other thing that I've seen on Instagram that I really want to get is from this same line. They have like another one. I don't feel like the glass or ceramic. Um, it's like a Christmas tree, which is really cute. Oh, and I got another. You need to have flipper outers for the holiday season, which literally starts in two days. And then I got shampoo for Lila and Theo and body wash for Lila and Theo. I got different colored ones. Because they think that's cool. Nick's mess messing with the fireplace. You're really doing the do. Guys, I turn off. Oh. Bought wipes. I got Coke at Coke Zero at um, Target. I also got these from the Dollar Spot from my office this year. I don't really, I'm not doing like crazy decor in there. Usually I have a full tree. I thought these were cute. These ones even like, this one lights up, which is even cute. They're little glass trees. They were like three bucks, I think. Well, this was a dollar. This was three dollars. And then I also picked up same thing. This one lights up. This one doesn't. Three and one dollar. I think that was like a good thing. I like was going to get like a little like you'll probably see in the thing. It's like a little house. So these from Dollar Spot for a dollar, but I ended up not getting it for a little Miss Lila Joy. I should have got the ones, but 
if I go back in there, there, I'll get them. And then I got this, because I saw this on Instagram too for the holiday time. I have this like red bodysuit. I think it'll be really cute with this. But I also think just like a, a, a black tank top and then like leggings would be really cute. But what really sold me was the buttons look like peppermint. And I just think this would be really cute for like the kids' holiday parties or whatever. It's actually really nice quality too. It's from a brand that I don't really recognize from Target. Like it might be like a collab or something. Grayson Threads. But yeah, it was, 30 bucks, which I feel like is kind of expensive for Target, but I love my holiday stuff. Oh, I didn't even turn up these. Then I was looking in the sock section because I'm now a sock girl, and I saw these on sale for $2.70. And they're all Mickey Mouse socks. So I was like, heck yeah, gamer. Six pairs of socks for less than $3. We love that. And then I got these for Theo, which I'm going to leave the tags on it just in case they don't fit. But there wasn't a good selection of boots unless they were like pink and like sparkly, which probably would have worn but these would go better with his outfits so these are like fake uggs basically so i think he'll really enjoy these i was going between the black and the brown ones but i feel like black brown is more theo's like energy then for the hebs i did get peppers because this week i am making sausage peppers and rice and i'm also making chicken fajitas so i'll probably just when i make the chicken fajitas cut up the peppers for the peppers and rice all at the same time and just get like a little bit of each for that um, Nick, I'll show you that in a minute. I got pie crust because Hannah cut up a bazillion apples and I'm just going to take the skins off and make that like, apple pie out of it. I don't like apple pie, but I think my kids will like it. Then I got a bunch of cheese this week. This is just one of them. This is mozzarella. This is for meatball sandwiches this week. Provolone. Nick wanted, I was going to make sloppy joes, but Nick wanted patty melts. So we got provolone. We got chicken broth for the soup I'm making for Saturday, which is the is like a potato corn soup. So I got one pound of red potatoes. I think the potatoes are mostly for thickening. I think it's technically more of a corn chowder. We got stuff for the kids' class parties that are tomorrow. So Lila signed up for juice. So we did get juice boxes. You'll see more. So it's Honest Kids is our favorite one. I think they're not that much different price-wise than like the HEB ones. And the HEB ones only came in four or 32, which I thought was wild. I needed just like regular black pepper. Nick got some of his favorite like zero calorie drink mixes, which are the Sonic ones, the cherry limeade. In my bags. Um, Nick got for lunch today and for lunch for probably a couple days, some of the rotisserie chicken salad. Creamy, I got car gum because I don't have any. Um, he got lettuce for his sandwiches. We got milk. Again, I think it's so weird that this milk is purple and not red. For whole milk, we got cereal. We needed cereal. We have the cereal that I bought left. We usually have two cereals going at one time because my kids love cereal. So our, another one of our fan favorites is Cinnamon Life, which I was obsessed with when I was pregnant with, I believe, Bennett. I got green onions for the soup. We got pretzels because Theo signed up for Salty on his pick. We got ruffles because Nick wanted chips and they also had a coupon that if you bought queso with it, it was like $2 off or something, which we needed the queso anyways. More juice for Little Miss Lila hey, Joy. On. Look at the Coke Zero cans. <gasps> oh my God, it's Christmas. I gotta send a picture to Hannah. Are y'all the same? I think so. Oh yeah, my yeah. God. Oh my God, look at that. They should be advertised. They should be advertising that. I'm gonna be foregoing live bumps just to drink that. I'm gonna take a picture instead of Tana then. Look at the boots I got for you to see if they fit. Oh my gosh. They have, these are like black ones, but I think the brown's more. <laughs> Teats energy. Um, we got applesauces because Bennett prefers cinnamon ones. I have a bunch. I buy the like regular applesauces in big bulk from HGV. There's like 60 in there. But he likes the cinnamon ones. It's like kind of a special, his special snack at lunch. One of his snacks. We got Mexican cheese because I'm doing to do chicken quesadilla, chicken fajitas tomorrow. But I'm gonna make the kids quesadillas, and then I'm gonna make like I'm gonna cut it out so it looks like a pumpkin. So I got cheese for that. I got thick cheese for it because I do have some thin cheese still, so I'll kind of like mix. But I feel like thick cheese is easier. I got half and half for my coffee, and then also for the soup. I got biscuits. I didn't know to get the flaky ones. I feel like the like buttermilk homestyle, like the non-flaky ones, 
made more sense for pretzels, so I got those. I got this for Hannah because whenever we have game night, I've been like trying to make mostly things that she likes, but she's like, if you ever wanna make something that I don't like, I can either make her pierogies if like it's available or a peanut butter and jelly, which I just feel like I feel bad, but she's like, it's not a punishment. Like I, peanut butter and jelly slaps. So I was like, well, if I'm gonna make her peanut butter and jelly ever, I'm gonna have the jelly that she prefers, which is the four berry fruit spread from H E B. And also she said chips, but I'm not making her peanut butter and jelly this week or I would have chips. Then I got meatballs for meatball sandwiches, like a lazy meal. Nick wanted me to try out the Sonic Tater Tots because they're new at H E B. I got this Magnolia holiday recipes because we were standing on the aisle. We were looking through this and we are like, mm, that looks good, mm, that looks good, mm, that looks good. And I've been like really in to like cooking from cookbooks. So I like the holiday ones. So I also got a holiday cookie one earlier. We got two bags of corn for the corn chowder. This is more corn than we needed by like six ounces, but there's never too such thing as too much corn. That's corny. And then that's the last of that bag of the, we got curly fries for the patty melt. We got, this is a big one, croissants for Nick's sandwiches. We got the cheese for the pretzels. And I mean, we'll probably just eat this like otherwise too. The cheese looks weird, I'm not gonna lie. That's why I prefer this kind of queso. But these I thought this would be good for um, like pretzels. And then we had the coupon for the chips too. It's like $2 off. We got syrup. I think we got two of these because we were, compl we're com basically completely out. We have like this much syrup left. These are good till September. So Nick got two of those. We got a big bag of onions because I need onions for basically everything this week. Um, chicken for the chicken fajitas. I got chicken thighs for those. I got crock pot liners because last time I accidentally got the small ones, but I am I did order a small crock pot because I was thinking also like Nick wants me to do some like different crock pot things for game night that I could also do a small crock pot, which I do have the liners for. And it's like $16 on Amazon for a small one. And then I can do like a dip or something in the secondary one. I got two things of bacon, one because we like to have one on hand and then two because I need it for the soup. And then I also did get ground sirloin for the patty melts today. I got mild cheddar for the soup. It's just like for on top. And then I also got sugar cookie dough because me and Hannah were talking about like the different cookies we're gonna make and she's like, well, for like the kids, um, for like decorating, we could just get one of these and it's good till January. So I figured I'll just pick it up now. And then I also got some um ice cream for the week this one is chocolate chip cookie dough because it sounded good and also we have bread because we need more bread we're doing patty melts too and then we got hot dog rolls for the uh, meatball subs i'm gonna make i don't even know if the kids are gonna eat them as subs but i could also do like just open them and then do like garlic bread out of it they'll like that too my shoopy shoe and the last thing, eggs. Because again, we were completely out of eggs. I went to make brownies yesterday. I don't got any eggs. So that is the whole setup. That is everything. I am thirsty. And I don't even know where my phone went. So bye. Okay, but for one in three dollars, like I literally shrieked. I don't know if they're going to live here necessarily. I'm probably going to put some over here, but it's like a little bit of a trash hole right now. But like, come on, I'm gonna get more. For one and three dollars, I cannot say no. Cause I, I can, I just cannot. I just cannot say no to that. They're so cute and I can't even. Um, I'm gonna have Nick wash this. I don't know, we'll see. I don't know if I'm gonna wash it yet or I'll wash it like closer when we make cookies and just like leave it out because it's so beautiful. And then this stuff. Probably gonna put this away. Actually, maybe that's what I'll do. I'll, I have like a Christmas closet. Did I ever tell you that? It's like right off of my like living room area. I'm surprised my kids have never opened it. They would find the treasure trove of Christmas crap. I can't show you because there's like things people want with me on there in their stuffs. But I can show you. I did get this in the mail from that Target order from Burr Reagan. Because it was like 15% off. $5 off one toy and 15% off something, one toy, I don't know. It was something crazy and I was like, well, let's just get one of the bigger things out of the way while there's a deal. I'm gonna go put away this stuff and then I'm gonna go eat my shoop shoop. 
I might actually, because Nick has the fireplace on, I might like bring my laptop out here and do some work. I don't know. I kind of need to film, but we'll see. Okay, back in my normal spot. I have the window open to get that nice chilly air in, get cozied up. Um, I actually got an order from a person I'm going to show you. I would say just drops it off at work because save on shipping. And I already hauled these, so I'm just going to show you what I picked up. So I had to pick up Malfoy Manor, which is bob bobber mint. Bobber mint. Butter mint in blue sugar. And it's literally so good. It is like basically what I want my whole entire house to smell like for like January. So good. Then I also got traveling trio which is blackberry jam butter cookie sugar corn pudding and sugar cookie royale literally a freaking dream so yummy yummy licious and then i did get two of these which are definitely hallows which is fresh bread glazed donuts and pretzel mm. I'm just like so annoyed because i feel like kirsten's sentence recently have been like even crazy gooder better than they were before like they were already really really crazy good but I feel like they've just gotten like even better so I like want to melt all of these but I have like so much to melt prior so I'm gonna put those away then she actually texted me I was in HEB and she's like are you gonna do like winter scribblers because I love pulling those in and I was like actually that's a great idea I should do those this week because I'm already feeling kind of like like I don't want to do actual scribblers this week so I am gonna do um like a winter colorway and I found like a color trends from like Benjamin Moore I might just uh, kadunk those colors and um I need to put away my laundry what else on this today I need to do my Instagram post which I already took pictures and edited this weekend during quiet time so I and then I have like kits to do which I want to get some kits done today I might move into the um living room and work just because it's like cozy it's like not cold out there which stinks also I feel like the all the wax that I put in today does not smell I don't know if it's because like when you first turn the heat on like I don't remember noticing this anywhere else but like in this house when we turn the heat on it like has like a smell for like two days so I don't know if that's why or if it's just like the scents like I feel like the what is it called the carbs with girlfriends like I remember it smelling really good but I don't think I've really smelt it this year so uh, I'll kind of like sit out there and I might end up changing the scent if I'm going to sit out there to like the apple fritter like scoopable because I don't think I'm going to film today because it as you could hear even if I close my windows it's like pretty loud because it's like raining and like it's cold so the sound like travels more so I don't think I'm going to film necessarily today. Uh, my next thing that I have to film is this week, which I like last minute switched in this kit and I ordered stuff from Hannah and her foilers broke. So like, she, and it's still going to be in with the time, but like I ordered it late. So I could do this one, but honestly, like these won't be post, like won't be scheduled until December. So I'm not like really in a rush. So the only thing I like need need to do like in here is just take a picture of this. But even that I don't need to do today because I also need to post it till the first. So realistically, I don't need to do anything in here. I could go sit on the couch, which I might. I just think that just sounds so fun. Just sitting by by the fire, I could turn my music on and just hang out. Just hang out. Just hang out, you know. I need to do my laundry so I'm gonna do that first and then I will go sit on the couch I'm gonna shut the window so it's not it doesn't get like 40 degrees in here this is my new work position I've never been happier I'm gonna put have Nick put 1989 on the speakers and I'm gonna vibe out <laughs>
Bathroom, baby. The scariest book ever. For Tom and David. I'm spooky ghost. Scary, right? Speaking of Okay, I'm not gonna lie. My throat kinda hurts. I'm kinda annoyed about it. I think it's allergies or change of weather though. If I had to guess to me. Basically, I'm tired already. It is I feel like I like have like a good flow till the kids get home and then I'm like I need to retire. It's 709. Kids just got to bed. I need to go through the cookie books and pick out what cookies we're making for Christmas. Me and Hannah are each making four different kinds of cookies. And then I might flag some other cookies to make, like, on my own. Like, maybe in November, December, like, Thanksgiving-ish time. Um, and then I also want to flag some regular foods to make. I'm going to flag them with these. But, um, yeah, I'm just, like, I have a headache. My throat hurts. I'm, like, not thrilled by it. Um, probably gonna take a bath in a little bit, but I just decided also that this is going to be, I decided since I last talked to you that I'm actually going to put this is the 30th of October, but I'm actually going to put this up in Vlogmas because I feel like today was like a Christmassy day. It was Christmassy vibes. And I think that I'm not going to do weekly vlogs through November and December just because like I'm busy. I mean, they're busy busy or I'm busy like working so I feel like I could pick and choose what days I want to show you and then upload them all in December and that would help me with videos in December as well so I will probably put like some kind of cute little intro on this video so you know what's up also when did when did um magazines become $12.99 yes it's expensive but I'm gonna go ahead and do this and then retire it's a fun story. I was like, oh, it's only a three hour vlog. No, I forgot to put the rest of the clips in. It's a four hour vlog. <sighs> Anyways, my throat hurts so bad. I went through both of these. I might take one NyQuil tonight because I feel like the combination of throat hurt and this headache, which is like right here, is really slow in my room. But let me tell you about the cookies. I'll show you the ones that me and Hannah are going to make and then I'll the chocolate peanut butter triple, chocolate triple peanut drops yeah. we're going to make she picked out four and uh, four or five I might actually did one too many one, two, no five each okay and then um, maple um, cookie cutouts that's look good um, buttery pumpkin cookies. I tried to pick like a variety like and then also different ones than what she did So we kind of have like a good amount going. I'm um, butter shortbread trees and The last one that I picked is Chocolate caramel firm prints. So basically if you know me IRL and live close you will be receiving cookies That's what I'm saying So literally the only people who watch this is like Kirsten and Hannah that live close. Maybe Amanda? I don't know. She watched my vlogs. Amanda, do you watch my vlogs? I feel like she said she did once, but I don't remember. So I'm gonna go retire to my room because I don't feel well. That's all I need in life. Chocolate chip cookie dough in my water. I ordered one of these because I've been seeing everybody on the Instagrams use it. My hair like holds its shape. I had one of these before and I just assumed it didn't work. One, I feel like it didn't feel this good of quality and it was like a name brand. This is like Amazon, $8. Um, but I tried doing my hair wet and I feel like that's my downfall. I need to do my hair like dry and then maybe like either spray it with a little water, spray it with a little hairspray, but I feel like it can't be fully wet. I'm going to be putting in Girlfriends because Carbs with Girlfriends, she wasn't treating me right, so we are going to do girlfriends and see how she goes and then over here I have my setup of my water and my salts and things and in case you were wondering I'm still 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 reading assistant to the villain I'm almost halfway done though so you know we're getting there I am ending this vlog on my iPhone but 
touched my hair in this. I feel like it's not tight enough. So I think it's gonna take a little bit of uh, trial and error. But I took a bath. I'm gonna eat the crumbs of these potato chips. The stuffing ones are so good. And continue reading my book. I wish I was like more into it because I feel like I'd be flying through it if I was. Look at what I read in my fantasy, my actual fantasies. This seems like cozy fantasy romance, more romance than fantasy, but I hope you like this video. I hope my hair looks okay tomorrow. We'll see. So, talk to you later. I love you so much. Thanks for watching my first vlog of December. Bye.